Now it's wonderful Woodbine in Toronto for the Queen's Plate. Going back to 1860, the plate is the oldest uninterrupted race on the continent. A mile and one quarter... This Canadian race was as important to EP as the Kentucky Derby. The dancer has come home, a gallant warrior whose record has struck a warm chord with thousands of Canadians. Trainer Luro is here, of course, and Jockey Hartag and Winfield Racing. He came out of the gate and it was a huge roar. The crowd thought, you know, this horse is just going to tow rope the field. Seven other Canadian breds engaged the fabled dancer on this warm and sunny June the 20th before more than 31,000 people. And at least 31,000 of them are dismayed as Hartag takes Northern Dancer back and back. That early part of the Queen's Plate was an abomination. You, you could almost sense it in the grandstand, like, you know, what is he doing? Only the filly later Mel trails the dancer. He was, like, trailing the field. It's our Kentucky Derby winner, and he's trailing the field. So Mr. Hartek certainly rode a different kind of race when he came to Canada than what he did in, in, in the States. Now half a mile has fled by, and Northern Dancer is absolutely last. I know my mother and I were standing there with our binoculars. We didn't say a word to each other, but I knew exactly what she was feeling. After three quarters of a mile, Hartak finally finds the running room he wanted. Now watch that champion charge. Bill Hartak, he knew he was going to win this race. He knew he, he, he could press the, the go button on this horse anytime he wanted to. And um, it was a hand ride for Hartak down the stretch. I mean, there was a little bit of drama in the race instead of being a, a one-sided affair right from the get-go. And then Northern Dancers went on this great run, which was wonderful to see. I imagine that he said to himself, hmm, Mrs. Taylor is expecting me to win today. I don't want to disgrace her. And here he comes, bounding in the form and style of the finest thoroughbred in Canadian racing history. And then he never raced again.